In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to reduce lag on GeForce Now. First, check your internet connection. You can run a speed test to see how fast your network really is. GeForce Now requires at least 15 megabits per second for 720p at 60fps and 25 megabits per second for 1080p at 60fps. If your bandwidth is lower than that, then you are likely to encounter many problems when gaming. Running other applications on your device can consume resources and cause lag on GeForce Now. Close any unnecessary applications to free up resources and improve performance. Limit other network traffic in your home while using GeForce Now, such as video streaming, downloading large files, or uploading files or photos. These can reduce your total available bandwidth. Restarting the app can also sometimes help resolve issues with lag. Close the app and then reopen it to see if it helps. You can also try to reinstall GeForce as well to get the latest update of GeForce Now. GeForce Now often has updates that reduce overall latency and lag for their servers. You can change your server to whichever server is closest to you. The closer the server, the less lag you will get. If you don't know which server is closest to you, keep it set to auto. You can also try other servers that aren't as overloaded since more people on a specific server can also cause latency. If you're still experiencing lag after trying the previous steps, you may want to try adjusting the graphics settings in GeForce Now. Lowering the resolution, frame rate, and other graphics settings can help improve performance on GeForce Now. So, if I go into the GeForce Now app, click on Menu, and then click on Settings, then scroll down to Streaming Quality, and from here, you're going to click on Auto and change it to Custom. You'll see this slider right below and you're going to set it in between 40 megabits per second to 50 megabits per second. Then, click on resolution and set your resolution down to 1600 by 900 or even 1280 by 720 if you want the least amount of lag. Leave the frame rate how it is and go straight to VSync and turn it off. Make sure adjust for poor network conditions is also set. If you want the least amount of lag and latency, then you can go straight to competitive mode. You can also try using an Ethernet cable if possible. Using an Ethernet cable will have less latency and packet loss compared to Wi-Fi. If you can't use an Ethernet cable, try connecting to your 5GHz network instead of the 2.41. You will also have to move closer to your router if you do end up switching to 5GHz, since network packets may need to be resent multiple times, which results in stutter. You can also try to reboot your router and see if that improves anything. You can also disable any firewalls you have on. Many firewalls can affect performance or even prevent you from connecting to NVIDIA servers, causing your game to lag. Make sure your computer meets the minimum system requirements for GeForce Now. If your computer does not meet the requirements, it may struggle to run the service smoothly. GeForce Now requires a 64-bit version of Windows 7 or newer. NVIDIA recommends using the latest version of the Windows 10 Anniversary Update. GeForce Now does not support 32-bit versions of Windows. In terms of hardware specs, NVIDIA recommends at a minimum a dual-core 64-bit CPU clocked at 2GHz or faster, 4GB of system memory, any GPU that at least supports DirectX 11 like the NVIDIA GeForce 600 series or newer, the AMD Radeon HD 3000 series or newer, or the Intel HD Graphics 2000 series or newer. If you continue to experience lag on GeForce Now after trying these steps, you can contact NVIDIA support. They will provide further assistance to resolve any issues with lag on GeForce Now. I'll leave a link down below if you do want to contact them. Anyways, I hope these steps help you fix any issues with lag on GeForce Now. If this video helped, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.